Hey guys, how's it going? This is Supreme and welcome back to another video on my channel in which I'm going to be talking about the second anniversary and what I think is going to be coming. So let's get into the video. This is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. This is it, Satan. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today! So as we all know, the anniversary is only about a month and a few days away and um... We're getting to the point where people are starting to speculate, you know, what units are going to come and what they think is going to happen. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to give my ideas as to what I think is going to happen. Um, and for that, I'm going to head over to Instagram and I'm going to talk about it there. Um, these are the units that I think we're going to get for the second anniversary. And I think there's going to be a dual step-up banner like there was last year. I also think that we're going to get um, two LF units. And I think they're going to be this GT Goku and the uh, Rage Trunks, if you will. Um, I think these are the two banners we're going to get. Um, there are more candidates, of course. I'm going to talk about those first. I think the other candidates for this are Gogeta Blue and a new Broly. There's also, um, obviously, UI Goku and Jiren and stuff like that. But I think we're going to get UI Goku on Goku Day. And a lot of people really disagree with me, but... Here's why. I've, I've really thought about this hard since I made the video on UI Goku uh, coming, and I think, honestly, he is probably going to come before the anniversary. Or we're going to get a new strong Goku unit, and that's not the free-to-play one that was just added. Um, I think we're going to get one before the anniversary on Goku Day. And the reason is because they're hyping that day up a lot with those new icon leaks and stuff like that, and it just makes sense. It's a big bait. They're adding a lot of improvements to the game, so they're getting the fan base back into the game, they're getting the player base to be happy, and they're going to drop another big unit. It's the best way to make money, it's the best way to make people spend crystals before the anniversary. It just makes sense. And a lot of people are telling me that Jiren doesn't make sense to come this early. Um, well, UI Goku, to start off with, isn't a very hype unit. Like, he's not as hype as the units that you can see on screen here, in my opinion. Um... I would prefer to get, personally, a Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 or Vegito Blue than, uh, than of course, a, uh, a UI Goku. Because um, he's not the final product. He's obviously, you know, Master Ultra Instinct is the final product. So I don't think we're going to be getting that um, for the anniversary. I think he's going to come before. And I don't think Jiren is a bad option because, yes, he wouldn't have tags, but you think... Uh, Bojack, he only has sagas from the movies, really, and Transforming Warrior, who no one buffs Transforming Warrior, but let's say he buffs, like Jiren would buff Universe Survival Arc, the episode, same thing as Bojack buffs sagas from the movies, and that's just one example, a lot of units do that, and I think it would be a good way to uh, enter a new episode to get buffed, so you could run Jiren with the Universe 2 units, or Kefla units like that, and it would be quite fun to do that, I think. Um, but that's enough about that. I think we're going to get those before the anniversary. I don't know about Jiren, but I think we're going to get UI Goku before the anniversary. And um, and that brings us to the, the actual anniversary where I think we're going to get these six units, like I said. Um, let's start off with GT. We got the GT banners in December for Christmas, New Year's, that period. And um, they're still very good, those units. And then we got Sin and, ba and Baby Vegeta after that who are still, they're, they're just underwhelming, like, they just they just aren't very good, so the the real colours that need buffing on that team are still yellow and green, um, which is quite ironic, because they're the most recent colours that have been added, so I think this banner would make sense, because Gogeta Super Saiyan 4, he's my favourite fusion, he's a lot of people's favourite fusion unit, so uh, obviously it would make sense to bring him to the game, and you can't have him without his, you know, the villain counterpart, which would be Omega Shenron, um, and then obviously I think GT Goku would make a good LF unit. I don't know if he's anniversary quality because he's just Kid Goku and no one really likes him. But his Universal Spirit Bomb is actually pretty legendary in the franchise. And um, I think it would make for a good legendary finish. Um, in that way you would have a unit that isn't but a, a fusion unit again being an LF unit. But then I could see why he wouldn't be an LF because... Obviously, we've got two LF Gokus already, so it would be a bit, you know, 
Um, but regardless, I do think it would be a good LF unit and a good banner, and definitely one I would be excited for. And the next banner is this one, the uh, the Future Trunks arc, basically the end of that arc where we get uh, Fuse Zamasu, Vegito Blue, and obviously the, uh, the Rage Trunks. Um, I think this is very likely. A lot of people are saying Black Friday, but... I mean, hybrids need a lot of help. Future needs a lot of help. God Key right now needs help, so... Why not? I just don't see why this isn't logical. Um, Trunks would be a fantastic LF unit. He definitely needs an LF, in my opinion. Because the Red Trunks is terrible, and that, that attack for me is worthy of being an LF. Um... So why not give him the spirit sword, or whatever you call that sword attack, an LF, I think it would be really, really cool. Also, you got Merge Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu, I think he would be more orientated around God Key, or uh, Fu uh, not Fusion, sorry, Future, um, since he, he would be kind of like Super 17, or Fuse 13, in a way where he's a Fusion unit, but doesn't actually buff or work with that tag. I think he would be very, very good on God Key, for example, because all he does is talk about him being a god, so it would kind of make sense. And then Vegito Blue. I don't know how likely it is for him to come since we just got a Vegito unit, but it kind of makes sense because it would just finish this arc, and we've had this arc going for a long, long time. Um, so it kind of makes sense to finish it now and just, you know, close the book and move on until you bring out another Merge of Master and Vegito Blue or something like that. But I think it would make sense to have these units added to the game. Um, Vegito Blue could maybe, you know, because if you've got two fusions, fusions don't really need two units, but you could have maybe one buffing, like Vegito Blue buffing God Key and fusions, for example, and uh, Gogeta buffing GT and fusions. Kind of like the Kefra and Gotenks do now, where they don't buff them completely, give them a double buff and all that. Uh, I think that would be a, a way to balance the team out a little bit more. Um, that said, obviously, I think Omega Shenron would be regen, and I think Merge Zamasu would also be regen. So that would give you, again, two very strong units on regen, but I don't think they would buff them. I think, like I said, Merge Zamasu would obviously buff Future and God Key, and I think Omega would buff, um, most likely, GT, give them a double buff or something like that. So yeah, I think these are the units that we're going to get uh, for the anniversary. Um, like I said, another possibility is Gogeta Blue and another Broly, which is kind of imminent at this point, but I don't know if they're going to do that yet. I just don't get the feeling that they're going to do that. Um, I don't know why. I thought I thought they were going to release them closer to the first anniversary of the movie, but I don't know. I just got the feeling that those are the possibilities um, for the anniversary. I think, I think the GT banner is more likely than the future uh, Trunks arc banner, and the reason being is because GT kind of, I, I, I think there's more of a chance of the future Trunks banner coming out on Black Friday than there is GT coming out at any other time. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 is loved by everyone, so it kind of makes sense because Gogeta is incredible. I mean, we all love Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. I think that would make for a great anniversary unit. Um, and yeah, to build the banner around him would be great. And the same thing for Mojo Trunks and Vegito. It's a banner that a lot of people want, and I think it would do the the game a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff it would give them a lot of um a lot of players playing the game and uh yeah i'm sure people would be really excited to get these kind of units um but like i said we're going to probably get something big on goku day which is before so make sure you don't spend everything then because you know <laughs> it's going to be hard not to if we get out strength to think goku but um just try try and wait off until the anniversary uh, I will obviously post a banner review and stuff like that of uh, the Goku Day banner when it comes out, if it comes out or whatever's happening. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned um, and just just save your crystals, guys, because it's the most important thing you can do right now. Uh, just looking around the corner, just take this image that I made, these concepts that I made into account, and just think that this is a possibility. We could be getting these units in less than a well, in a month basically. So just think. It, it, it's worth saving for these units, in my opinion, because they are absolutely amazing, and they're going to be incredible. And if you see the animations that have just been released for the new free-to-play Goku that's going to come either tomorrow or in the next few days, um, the animations on that unit, he's a free-to-play unit, the animations on him are incredible. So, 
I'm hyped for what's to come. I think this next month in the game is going to be big, and I think the anniversary is going to be huge. Um, so yeah, these are the two banners I think are going to come. What do you think is going to be coming this anniversary? Let me know down below. Um, yeah, like if you enjoyed. Share this if you do think that uh, people could get a bit of information from this, and if you think they could enjoy this video too. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.